Do they, Damn. Do they sing, you gotta miss me when I'm gone? That is not the Black Crows. Oh, okay. I think you're thinking of Anna Kendrick. Oh, okay. Not that cup song. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> yeah, no, what no. song is she talking about? She's talking about the song. It's that Dirty we... Honey. Yeah, That's Dirty a new honey, song. Yeah. Oh. They've spawned a thousand soundalikes, yeah. okay. but uh, this song is 30 years old. So they're mm -hmm. they're touring in support of uh, the 30th anniversary of Shake Your Money Maker. It was their first album. Went five times platinum and introduced everybody to the Black Crows. Um, they're going to do it in its entirety, and then they're going to throw in a bunch of other hits, but... For a long time, the Robinson brothers said they would never play music again with each other. They're both in their 50s now. But, uh, you know, once time passes and some Go, we can wounds make a lot heal of like we yeah. can make a lot of money, my curiosity is why Steve Gorman is not playing the drums for the Black Crows on this tour. That apparently the animosity that was settled between the Robinson brothers has maybe not been settled <laughs> among all the other members of the band. I, Steve Gorman who still lives in Atlanta and was doing, like, sports radio for a hot minute, and maybe we, he was just looking for something to do, talking about Thrashers and Braves and Falcons or whatever. But he was he was a drummer for the Black Crows for 27 years, so I'm not sure who's playing the drums for them. I'm not... Unless, unless there's something I don't know. Mm -hmm. My understanding is that Steve Gorman is not with these guys. So I'm hoping we'll be giving away tickets at some point. I imagine we would, but they, they are on sale... And I don't know how quickly they're going, but again, they those uh, pavilion seats right now are going for a pretty penny. Chris Robinson's kind of cleaned himself up physically a little bit. He had the real LSD Jesus thing going for a long, <laughs> long time. He cut his hair a little bit, and you know. So I, I think it's cool that these guys kissed and made up. We'll see if it lasts the length of a tour. But they're older and yeah, they ostensibly money. wiser. Yeah, so hopefully, yeah. That'd be nice. Speaking of shaking your money maker, don't forget to check out Christie's Instagram Hotties, Ooh. Volume Sixty Eight. That's right. Which means next week. E yeah. E There's some good ones on there today. Have you checked it out, Alan? I have checked it out. Yeah. Wait, what? What about next week? Sixty. This week, sixty-eight. Yeah. So next week. I don't follow. Give me Volume Seventy-nine. Oh. Nice. I yeah. see. Now I get it. Yeah. That's like a sex thing I've heard. Can, can we play a game I just invented in the break? It's a it's for Bill about his messy desk. Uh, you mean we don't have to? Uh, yeah, of course. Go to. ahead. It's it's uh, not a messy desk. It is a creative workspace. Okay. Well, if you go to my Instagram at Mary Center Comedy, you can see how messy Bill's area is, and he claims to know where everything is on that desk. Yeah. So if you'll let us, I say we play a game called "Is It on Your Desk?" <laughs> okay. And you say if these things are or are not in your workspace. I so don't this think is the whole workspace, know. not just on the floor. Not just on the floor. In, the, in you, your in, half, in of, the, half, of, your the half of the office. Yeah, all right. You want to play this? Yeah, let's play it. Okay. Is it in your workspace? No, I don't know the answer to this. I have the answer. This is a Mary Bill game. Should mm -hmm. I take the dinger in the... Oh. Take that. The dinger is also a bell. The thumbs down. Okay. Yep. Okay, Bill. Is it in your workspace? Matches. No. You're right. There are no matches it in your so workspace. It was so weird that it had to not be there. Okay. Right? Yeah. Is it in your workspace? A toothbrush? Yes. Damn. I didn't think he was going to get so many right. <laughs> All right. Soy sauce packets. Oh, yeah. Come on. You're going to have to, like... Hold on. Those are obvious things that he's going to know are in there. you got to ask him, like, is there a Carlos Carrasco bobblehead from five years ago? <laughs> right, the... right, right, right. Yeah. No. All right. Is it in your workspace? A doctor's note. The whole time I was in the break, I was going through your workspace, just so you know. Clearly. Doctor's note. I'm going to say no. He's okay. He knows what's in <laughs> his workspace. Because I'm not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is it in your workspace? Expired beard oil. I mean, what's your definition of expired? Of expired? It yes. being on the on the bottle as expired. Okay, yeah. Oh no! Oh, she no made that up. Oil. Okay, well. made that up. Hmm. All right. Free pizza coupons. Oh yeah. You're right. Do you know when they're from? It's not easy know. to hit that bell. A couple years no. ago. <laughs> 2017. Book it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're getting wow. a bunch of them. Okay. Is it in your workspace? Empty prescription bottles. Oh, yeah. He's, He's doing pretty well. He's doing great. Yeah. All right. Again, doesn't mean that he has a system. 
He just, just knows means that what's he knows there. what's not there. Yeah, what's in there and not there. Used napkins. Used napkins. See, what may appear used to you. <laughs> it's like the clothes. The napkins aren't used enough to be dirty. <laughs> They're used enough to still they be probably usable just got again. Scrunched. They probably just got scrunched up. So? So I'm going to say no. Dirty, gross napkins. No, I'm saying they're... Again, that's a that one's kind of a semantic argument. It okay, really is. is it dirty? Defined, mm-hmm. Does it have visible stains? Visible stains, yeah. Which is how I assume you inferred that, that they're they used. Dirty, yeah. Right, you're okay. dirty and used. Two yeah. left. It's actually just the pattern that came on the napkins. <laughs> the white napkins that he took. <laughs> Chopsticks. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, there's no chopsticks, because I always throw them away. There are no uh, chopsticks yeah, in your could've. workplace. Would you like there to be? No, but I oh, okay. I will use chopsticks, because mm-hmm. I'll get sushi from time to time. Mm-hmm. A wildlife permit. Yeah. There is a wildlife permit. For what? From 2017 uh, in when his shooting, desk. A wildlife went permit. Went shooting with Jeff Hardig when he was still here. We I need to get, like, a permit to go you to one of the gun You went shooting for stuff. He went shooting for stuff. No, 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 not for stuff. stuff. It was just, you needed a Go, you needed that to go to the gun range that we were going to. Oh, because yeah. I went shooting with him. I didn't need anything. Well, that was a different one. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, he did pretty well. He did pretty well. He did pretty well. I thought I was going to stump you on a few of those. So much for your game, Mary. Yeah. Well, that's okay. So I think what we have proven is... It's still messy. You just know where stuff is. You proved me wrong on that point. I know what stuff's over there. Let yeah. me ask you, you know this. You know what is there. You probably... Ooh, ooh easy. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Yeah. Were those napkins... Before or after Dick Goddard was born? <laughs> <laughs> That's the next question. How before. dirty are they? Before. <laughs> before. What things on Bill's desk are older than Dick Goddard? <laughs> be the next game. Uh, All right, well, there you go. We could probably do what things on my desk have been here longer than Pound Cake's been on the show. <laughs> yeah, that's true, too. All right, well. If it bothers you it that was a much. Nice, it was a nice it. try. I said, I, I said, if it bothers you that much, then I will continue in my ways because it makes me I'm laugh here now. Half the time anyway. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alan, I'm 100% with Bill on this semi-dirty clothes Thank situation. You. Why not just hang it back up? I don't understand that. I'll wear jeans like a couple times in a row and fold them back up and put them in my drawer. Bill's yeah. new apartment should be called Visible Stains. <laughs> well, that's not... It's Squiffle Tower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've already uh, established that. Uh, Alan Steve Gorman just came out with a book about the infighting and royalty payments still owed him, so I wouldn't expect him to be on tour. Oh. Yeah, that too, that, that the Robinson brothers were taken more than the lion's share of the music. That's the other issue too, is it's like when you're the brothers and you can't get along, you're like, you at some point come to the conclusion, we were the guys taking 80% of the money. Let's go back out there, take 80% of the money from these other schmucks that could be backing us up. And let's get out there. And these schmucks will be happy to be out there because they're like, hey, we weren't making any money. I'm happy with the black mm-hmm. crows. Yeah. Alan Mary's outfit today is adorable. Uh, Trust me, I'm a lesbian. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say, is, is that the endorsement you were looking for? Yeah. You're all yeah. excited. I'm cute for a lesbian, mm-hmm. huh? It, it actually is, yeah. Flannel, leggings, boots, beanie. When you, when you say it out loud... Yeah, graphic mm-hmm. tee tied up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> graphic tee tied up. Yeah. Sure. It's my WMS t shirt. Hey. My buzzard. My the eagle. eagle. My eagle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a trip to LA for you, as promised. You only get two of these a day. Uh, our Alter Ego Festival, now in its second or third year, it is sold out, has been for a minute. And it's Blink 182, it's Black Keys, Billie mm-hmm. Eilish. And many more. January 18 at the Forum in L.A. You and a pal get out there. We'll put you up the whole schmear. So good luck. Hey, it's Rover. Time for your shot at a trip to our iHeartRadio alter ego now. Text the nationwide keyword party to the number 200-200. You'll get a confirmation text and info, standard data and message rates apply in this nationwide contest. That's party to the number 200-200. Good luck from 100.7 WMMS. Speaking of your wildlife license, uh, about 50 aggressive turkeys have been harassing the residents of an over-55 community in New Jersey. (laughs) Oh my gosh! (laughs) Phase 2 of Del Boca Vista is being taken over by turkeys. People can't get from their car to the front door without being attacked. Well, if only Bill's wildlife permit wasn't expired, he could go out there and shoot Get out there. Take care of these things. Okay, boomer. (laughs) 
I thought that was for the turkeys. It was. Mm-hmm. I like that you're thinking. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're like, I mean, he I doesn't have scream. to reflexively do it. Sure. <laughs> sometimes it's. Tell for you him, what. Sometimes, sometimes not. Sometimes for tiny punk. <laughs> 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 Uh, all right. Anywho. Yeah. Why so, you knock him over like that? That's rude. I just put it down. It's hard to balance. Tell Come me on. about it. I live my life. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. How's that? Is that better? Yes. Yeah. It's pretty nat- upright. It's a natty dresser, of, too. Also, boy, if I can share something with you guys. No. That I need to get off my chest. When I was dating. That flannel, I hope. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Live stream, oh. <laughs> Mary Striptease. <laughs> when I was um, digging through Bill's stuff to prove him wrong, when he actually did better than I hoped, uh, I accidentally touched the Ouija board. Ha ha! I win. You're going to die now. <laughs> I touched the Ouija board. Now board. you have a you demon di- in you. He, you dying means he wins? No, what I'm just saying I don't know what's going to happen. She's got a I demon went, in her now. She's possessed I went by to go Milton move. Bradley. I went to go move. <laughs> the ball player? <laughs> I went to move some unnecessary junk all over his, and it it, this it my hopped plan. out of nowhere, and it touched my hand. This is my plan the whole time. Was it? Yes. To finally get you to touch the Ouija board, because Mary would not touch the Ouija board. We'd bring it in here. we keep you it near her. You put it on her, my chair. Put it on your chair. You would not touch it. It touched me. It sought me out. Mm-hmm. And I think that's why the game went poorly. What if you had sat on it? He put it on your chair? Yeah, when Chris Porter was here. So I stood. Right. <laughs> I stood. Oh, right. You would have had... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, demons in your behind. But the Ouija board touched me, so I don't know what that means. You mean touched you like when I watch Beaches with Pound Cake? No. Or, oh, I see. Demons in your behind at the Agora this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so. So your thoughts are what now? I don't know. I don't know. I've never. I don't know. You do seem different. I'm different. I'll tell you right? what. I, think I I'm different. If I may cast a prediction, and yes, Coxtradamus is still buried in the sands of Jamaica. Nevertheless, uh, my prediction is this. <gasps> Nothing is going Nothing? to happen to you. Nothing at all. No. Not one single thing. I moved a keyboard and it jumped out at me. I guess it is kind of a keyboard itself. Did it land it's on It's a die? keyboard to Satan, if that's, <laughs> that's what you what mean. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Satan's keyboard. Satan's keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's great. <laughs> Opening up for visible stains. <laughs> Satan's the keyboard. The grog shop. Yeah. <laughs> it's the devil. The dirty QWERTY. <laughs> That's fantastic. That but you don't feel any different. I don't know. I feel anxious. Hmm. Yeah, I, but that I, could I just be from the junk. You don't, though. You brush up against it. You don't feel. I mean, you, I, it, it sought me out, Alan. For real. It jumped out at no, me. Stop. Hey, listen. If you come into work tomorrow with a giant pus wart on your face, Ew, then I'll know something's going don't on. Don't say that. But um, other than that, I think you'll be just fine. I'm going it to predict. It burned me where it touched me. Look. I'm going to predict. Not this is innocent. not from my curling iron earlier today. <laughs> this is from the it Ouija burned board. me from your uh, <laughs> from my homeless barrel, curling iron. <laughs> your brush barrel. with the Ouija board. Mm-hmm. What letter did you rub up against? I don't know. It just jumped out at me. It jumped at you. Mm-hmm. I moved a key, the real keyboard, say, you, yeah, and then you, the devil's keyboard you, fell onto my oh, hand. I see. My right hand. Wait, his pile includes a loose keyboard? Yes, there's a loose keyboard. Someone gave it to me. Because it has like controls for video, uh huh. And I was like, "Well, I don't want this." And they're like, "Well, it's yours." And I, they so gave now it it's to on me. the ground under and so a now towel. It's on the ground because I I need to get rid of it. But I, just the thing, people hand me stuff and I don't know what to do with That's it. That's why each of these yeah. offices you might have noticed is supplied with garbage bins. Yeah, I should that I put many many, yeah. many things into well, it. I don't I'll want put them. that. That se- that seems like one of those things that you shouldn't throw away though. And that, I know this sounds just like your mom because it's like a valuable keyboard. No, I understand. But it's not. But if you have no use for it, there's no. Value I have no in use it. for it, but somebody might have use. So for then, it. give it to the Goodwill, and someone can buy it. All right. The Goodwill. You do it. You you give it to them. <laughs> hey, any video producers trolling the aisles of the Goodwill? <laughs> your mother sit here with his cash. Would you like to leave a message? I see that she gets it. If that's true, then you must know my mother's maiden name. What is it? If by tomorrow you are similarly possessed as young Reagan McNeil there, uh, then I will. It doesn't have to be vomit. But if the skin starts cracking, you can spin your head around, uh, crucifix type stuff down below. Then I will second guess your brush uh, with the Milton Bradley Ouija board. The devil's keyboard. With the devil's (laughs) keyboard. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but until then. 
Speaking of the devil, this nice woman comes up to me at my appearance on Saturday uh -huh. and says she's met me before. It looked very nice. I was in Canton on Saturday. And she, uh, my name's Nancy. We've met before. Oh, hi. She looked like maybe she was in her mid-50s. Very scrubbed, very suburban looking. Very mm -hmm. nice lady, right? And we spoke for a minute. And uh, she's like, I'm a fan of the show. She said, and I wanted to give you this. And she hands me this little paperback book. It's only 100 and 275 pages called The Shack. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of this? Mm -hmm. My sister owns that book. Okay. Well, I've it was a New York Times bestseller. And apparently it's a guy whose daughter is killed in a shack. And he overcomes his grief by going back and figuring out how the Lord can help him. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's steeped. like a spiritual kind of religious based book. It's steeped in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, oh, thank you. And she's like, you should read it, blah, blah, blah. And, I, and, and then that was it. It was a brief mm -hmm. exchange. But I couldn't help but thinking, why did she give me this? My sister read it and she said that it like... I mean, she's a religious person to begin with, but it like and I'm very changed much the not, way she so. looked at a couple different scenarios in her life. Right, but if you're already in it, you're yeah. like, yeah, it's going to give you something. I mean, again, thank you, Nancy. Uh, maybe I will read it. I, mm -hmm. I'm a, in the middle of about half a dozen books right now, but I, I was kind of flipping through it, and I saw a lot of, oh, God, Jesus, God, God, Father, mm -hmm. God. And I was like, wow, this is... My sister actually Interesting recommended... that she would have given me this. So I was left to think, okay, maybe she just likes this book so much that she's handing it off. Mm -hmm. Maybe she wants to get rid of it. Or she wants she's you like, to come to the Lord. She wants me to come back to the Lord. She wants you to come to the Christ Shack. The Christ Shack <laughs> is a little old place where yeah. you can serve your Savior. There you go. Christ Shack, baby! <laughs> they can kill your daughter. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was trying to make it a little more uplifting than kill your daughter. My but. sister. Read that, my sister read that book and told me that I should read it a couple okay. years ago. Well, but apparently yeah, this, like an, Nancy thought the same thing, and uh, so but maybe I will. It was uh, nice, and I appreciate it, uh, but I, I thought it was a, uh, an odd... Uh, so wait, is the, the premise of the book that his daughter got killed so that he could learn more about Jesus? His youngest, that seems his, his youngest daughter has been abducted dur during a family vacation, and evidence that she may have been brutally murdered is found in an abandoned shack in the Oregon wilderness. Four years later, in the midst of his great sadness, capitalized, that was my first clue, he receives a suspicious note, apparently from God, inviting him back to the shack for the weekend... <laughs> hey, want to come wait, back what? to... I know, I, again, <laughs> okay. that's the synopsis, that's but it weird. says at the very top... New York Times bestseller, mm -hmm. 18 million copies in yeah, print. Yeah, it's a big one. I, this thing, I, if it hasn't been made into a movie, I imagine it would be. Uh, so I'm on. Uh, I'm the ignorant one with this. But I, I was just like, oh, thank you. I'll take a look at it. But I saw that on your desk earlier today, and I was like, that is a very interesting choice for Alan to have that book. I thought that it that was, was given to me. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was very strange. So maybe somebody, uh, you know, uh, you can be a fan of the show and still think I'm some godless heathen. <laughs> and want to, I don't know what. Bring you back to the cloth. Or not the cloth, See, but the, the flock. I'm having a bump in with the devil's keyboard. You're getting handed literature on Jesus. People are changing, Alan. Yeah, well, I'm not changing. I you mean, might you know. be when you haven't read the book yet. Well, let me skip to the end. Oop. Don't do that! <laughs> Spoiler. Oh, nothing happened. Okay, <laughs> anyway, cool. All oh, right. Coincidences turned into meaning. Okay. Uh, I've got a couple of tickets for you on the way back. A Wall Nation is going on the road with Andrew McMahon. That's a lineup. A Wall Nation, Andrew McMahon in the wilderness. Uh, they're going to do the Agora in June. So, again, we're looking at summer shows for what we're handing off. But if you dig those bands, I'll hook you up after the break. 35192 if you want to text. The Alan Cox Show.